so, guys, I'm going to give you a basic just rundown on who I am. If you guys just happen to run up this on the title, which it will say, uh, Blake Lindsay TV blog, then it'll say episode one, and it'll be like children's ministry, and whatever else I decide. So if you just happen to run up on it on the title, my name is Blake Lindsay, and I am the children's minister at Beacon Church of Christ. And what I'm doing, this is my blog that I'm starting. I'm going to start uh, blogging my journey through ministry. And so you guys can take this journey with me. Um, so right now I'm a senior in high school and I am an unpaid children's minister at Beacon Church of Christ. And what some of you, and right now I'm in my, uh, the fellowship hall in my church where we hold uh, children's church, whatever you want to call it. Um, but... So I'll just give you a basic rundown. Uh, I may or may not film the class in itself, um, but I will. I, I'm gonna try to film bits and pieces if I can't film the entire class itself. Um, and what I also what I do have is I have um, uh, two volunteer uh, two uh, volunteers from women in the church to help me. Uh, to deal with the kids, because if you're 18 years old and you're a senior in high school and you're dealing with kids, because my children's class, which is weird, because we're not a big church at all, we're a very small, uh, small town congregation, um, very, um, my class, or our children, uh, aren't very big along with our congregation, so my whole class in itself is from kindergarten to fifth grade which is a stretch, and a lot of people have said, well, that's really challenging, which it is. So, and that's another reason why I have uh, volunteers to help me out through the class, because dealing with kids from kindergarten to fifth grade, it's a little bit of a task, especially not only to figure out how to get a lesson to where it wraps around their heads uh, and get it stuck in the middle somewhere, um, and they also have different behaviors. So it really, it really helps out, and you know I'm grateful and I'm thankful for uh, uh, those great women who volunteer in my church to help me out, and I so appreciate it. So if you guys are watching, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's pretty much my blog, and tonight is um, February 11th, uh, 2015, and we're going to talk about 1 Samuel 17, which is the story of David and Goliath. And, you know, it's basically saying, you know, God will help you through uh, anything, you, anything you want. It's talking about, and that's a basic, very basic children's ministry lesson uh, with David and Goliath. Uh, but we're pretty much just going through the Bible. And, you know, I've been a children's minister since, uh, since August of 2014. So we've already been through... Uh, we're going through the Bible, and we've gotten to 1 Samuel. And like I said, my first episode for this blog is that we're doing uh, 1 Samuel 17, David and Goliath, God will help you. Um, this is pretty much the lesson layout. And, uh, you know, I'll pretty much just go through the books and stuff, and like I said, I will, um, uh, I'll try to film the lesson in itself, if not, because, you know, they're little kids, so it's like kind of uh, the whole thing about little kids and YouTube videos. It's, I don't know. I'll just see how that works. And uh, But if not, it's pretty much what I'm telling you. And I'm just basically going to go through the story of David and Goliath. If you guys are children's ministers or have been in church, you guys and have grew up in, in the church, uh, you know the story of David and Goliath. Uh, and basically, with the little game, because if you're a children's minister, you need to have games. So, our game is that I'm playing the part of Goliath, and they're going to play the part of David. And what they're going to do is, that you probably saw in earlier, I had a bag of marshmallows. Well, that's where those come in. They're going to throw marshmallows at me and try to hit me in the head, and then I'll fall down. And I'm like, do that, you know. Uh, so, yeah, guys, I, without further ado, on to the video, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay. So, guys, first of all, let's get out of here. Remember correctly, what did we talk about? What did we do? 
Alright, so yeah, basically, so listen to this. David was about, like, as tall as I am. He's, he was about as old as I am. I think so. He wasn't, he wasn't super, he was younger. He was younger than I was? I think he was younger than I was. I think he was. Think he was, younger than I was. So he was, short, he was shorter or as tall as I was. And he's going up against a guy who was also looking at him. I've been looking at him like this. So, terrified of him. A lot bigger, and he's just like, let's go. He was taking out guys like left and right, and they were like freaked out. I'm pretty sure if a guy, if you're coming up to a guy who's just taking out guys, right, just left and right, you're like, I'll put his foot out. You'll be running. Give us one of his foot. Go ahead and check. Check this out. Daddy! He's looking fat. I think pretty still. He's pretty fit. Alright, so. David got, so David said, look, I'll do it. David got uh, his rocks and he got his point, right? He went to battle and he hit Goliath right in the head. He's like, oh. And he just goes down. And then there's also another part of the story that you guys will probably read when you get older. If that I'll read it. I'm not going to read it. Yes. But anyway, so, but the thing is with David was, is that God helped David. God had faith in God, or the whoa. David had faith in God. David had faith in God. He's like, look, with the power of God, I'm going to be able to take you down. And he believed that. So that's what David did. So, he went to Goliath, and with the power of God, he struck, she struck him down. With no fear whatsoever. He's like, look, God's going to help me take you down. Bam. Uh, uh, yeah. So, David took down the guy that no one else was able to. What's up, Randy? He doesn't know what's back there. What is that, David? 1 Samuel 17. What? 1 Samuel 17. Is it a bad story, David? What? What is that, David? Oh, it's like really like. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Alright, so. So, guys, let me ask you something. So we can do things that are pretty scary, right? We do things that are pretty scary. Uh, uh, you know, I'm a, like me, I'm a afraid of being crawling on the ground when something really, really heavy is like above me. Like, and I'm cranked in like that. I'm, I'm terrified of it, right? So, That's what I'm terrified of, the dark. Awesome. Alright. And so, but like, okay, so listen to this. When I changed the motor, like, I'm under my car. My car's really heavy. If it falls on me, it's not going to be good. You're dead. No, most likely he has to go to the hospital. Alright, um, so, but, and so when I have to change the motor, the oil in my car, my dad's helping me with it, so, there's him there. But also, I'm like, look, alright, God's going to take care of me. But whatever happens, happens, God's going to take care of me either way. So when we get so when we get scared, guys, right, guys? When you do things that you think is scary, just think of it like David, right? So when you're sick, the medicine doesn't help you, God helps. What medicine does too? Yeah, you have to take your medicine. Oh. You gotta on that too. But yeah, you gotta, you gotta on that. God's gonna take care of you too.
Alright, Zoe, you ready?
Pray, brother. 